Most of us have been stuck at home and are doing most of our work and study with our eyes glued on some kind of a screen. And I have been using the same setup for the past two years or so, but it's already showing somewhere in tear. So I think it's time for an upgrade. I got this custom table from a nearby woodworker to replace the IKEA Linman that I've been using for the longest time. It's basically just two pieces of plyboard on top of each other, and I use the same table legs for my old desk. This will give me more space for all my computer related work, as well as a separate corner for digital detox. I also got this chair from Hoffix to replace my awful gaming chair. It has a mesh backrest for ventilation and a good lumbar support for all those long gaming sessions. I would never go back to gaming chairs, since they don't really provide good ergonomics. The last major upgrade would be the audio setup. The microphone of choice is the Rode Procaster, held by the Inor Game mic arm. This mic arm is pretty much the budget version of the famous Rode PSA1. Since this set is mainly focused on value, I think this is a better choice, since it provides the same quality and functionality. This microphone is connected to the SE Dynamite preamp, and the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 audio interface. For the cans, I use a Sennheiser HD 58X from Drop.com. They are open back headphones that provides excellent audio both for gaming and media consumption. And if I really want to drown all the noise, you know, dogs barking, honking cars, and the adult noise are coming from the couple next door, I still trust my old Sony XM3s. As for the speakers, I still use this old flea market Bluetooth speakers that I got from JB Hi-Fi. I can't really afford to invest in a good set of speakers for now, as my room is directly adjacent to my neighbor's room, so this will do just fine. As for the rest of the peripherals, I have the Ducky 12 SF for my keyboard, and the Logitech G305 for the mouse of choice. Both of these are on top of the SteelSeries Quick XXL and the Glorious Helios hard mouse pad. The monitors I use are very cheap, these are both from HKC. Both are 24 inches, 1080p monitors. The main monitor is at 144Hz, while the secondary is at 75Hz. They're both held by this dual monitor mount I got from Shopee. It does the job very well, and it also provides good cable management. My only complaint would be the amount of branding it has, but this can easily be removed. On top of the main monitor is this lamp screen bar from Beacious. This lamp is very effective in reducing eye discomfort during long sessions. Also, I have a couple of these light bars from Thunlit. These are very cheap solutions for providing ambient lighting, as I am not a fan of RGB. And yeah, also, my bed's on the floor. For the webcam, I still use a trusty Logitech C922 Pro. This might be the oldest part of my setup, but it provides good enough video quality for online classes and meetings. All these are powered by my custom ITX build. This may look small, but this packs a punch. This has the Ryzen 9 3900X, called by the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4, RTX 2070 Super, 32GB of RAM, 2.5TB of SSD storage, and all these are enclosed in the Inwin E1. I also have the Asus G14 2021 Edition, whenever I need to work or game on the go. This desk has a lot of cables coming from the peripherals going to the computer, as well as two power strips with surge protectors. The setup's cable management might not be the best, but for me, it's passable. I also got other stuff for convenience, but mainly because they're very cheap for the price. I got this under desk drawer from Shopee, you know, for the essentials. This cork and whiteboard combo I got from Ace Hardware to remind you of the important stuff. So far, I'm really happy with this setup, and this provides my small room with a lot of space, both for work, gaming, and other desk related activities. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.